G'day and welcome to our channel where we talk about our crafts. My name's Jo, my craft is cross stitch. My name is Elizabeth. And your craft is? My, my craft is um, doing dyeing and diamond painting. Diamond painting. Yeah, so Elizabeth's craft is diamond painting, which she calls dotting. We call dotting in our house, partly because she started with the brand Diamond Dots. It's been a while. We haven't made a video in a long time, Elizabeth. I oh, yeah. We've been just too busy doing other stuff. This time of year, it becomes a lot more uh, of Elizabeth's dance um, performances uh, away. I like, I like dancing. Yeah, we know you like dancing. That's good. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying why we've been it's been so long. And it seems like every other weekend there was something on. So we're taking this afternoon with Dad and little brother out of the house to um yeah. To make a video. I am um, me and my dad, my, my brother is at Narborough. They went to Narborough, yeah. They went up to have a look at a car. So, yeah. what's happening? In happening? We've had some um, school holidays. We've yes, been to, you and I have been, tummy. we've been to uh, Wollongong. Yep. For dancing, for yep. um, to dance in what's called Southern Stars, which is a big performance in, um, in Wollongong. We've been to Sydney for the school holidays. Um, Elizabeth's class finished year 12 and it's still in school and but she's still going to school until the end of oh, the year the, on my, my class my um Elizabeth's my world class yep that they had home no they're not they're actually doing exams at the moment and so they're doing exams. their yeah they're doing their big HSC exams so you don't have to do your exams so that's good Oh, no, 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 no exams. No, yeah, no. that's good. Okay, and um, coming up this month we have um, school spectacular. We're about to go to rehearsal in the next week for that. We've got a video conference tomorrow for that, um, and it's the formal, so graduation formal in a couple of weeks' time, which will be fun. Yep. And yeah, lots of things happening. Hey, okay. First of all, your your dress is going to be here soon. Oh yeah. Um, it's second. Yeah. Your dress is, it's going to be here soon. Okay, first thing we have to do is to say a really big thank you to Jen from Quirks and Stitches. I was uh, the fortunate recipient of a, a project bag that she had offered as a prize on the 24 Hours of Cross Stitch at Cross Stitch a few months ago. And um, she contacted me and, and said that they'd seen our videos and they wanted to um, send Elizabeth a project bag as well, which was so nice. Um, I don't usually enter giveaways, mostly because... The international postage, it's really, really expensive to send stuff to us in Australia. But I've, I it did, was really fortunate. And I thank you so much to Jen and to Cindy. Um, so we got a lovely card. I'll you know, show you card. We each got a card. With yeah. a lovely note inside. Um, and we got a project bag. You're going to show you your project bag? Yeah. So they sent us a lovely vinyl cut fronted they asked me what fronted bag they asked me what elizabeth liked and we said mermaids so mermaids. she's got this really cute mermaid fabric i like mermaids she likes like, mermaid. and then on the bag and on the front that's what it was this wasn't a part of it we'll explain what that is later <laughs> uh, she's got this uh, all her, her um drills for her really big owl project we works really well with that and even uh, 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 in addition, they sent to her a mermaid diamond dots, which was amazing. This is a kit we actually haven't seen in Australia yet, so that was even more special because it's one that we haven't, we can't get. Um, her hair is um, very um, very long, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, very long. So that was that was what was sent for Elizabeth. She sat down and did that in one evening um, and loves it. It's up on in our our house. Mm -hmm. And then they sent me this beautiful one, purple, and it's got clocks on it. Is it clocks? Yep, it's got clocks. It's got numbers? And numbers, that's oh, right. Oh, yeah. 12, 3, 6, 9. That's right. That's it. So thank you so What's much. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, well, 6, it's, 8, it's, 9, 10. Sometimes, on, it. sometimes on clocks they only put those four numbers. Oh. So thank you so much, Jen. Um, we really appreciate it. Um, we are using them, obviously, and it's just been lovely. So thank you very much. So first of all, we usually go to Elizabeth's projects um, and show you her projects. So you've just seen one. She's been very um, busy. Um, she's done a lot of projects. I got a lot of um, dying. Light, yeah. Yeah, I got. We've already shown all those ones. We did? Yep. Yep. We've already shown all those ones. 
Oh, ages ago. Mm. Yeah, we've done it. So here we go. Let's go quickly. Let's go through them. We've got a unicorn. This one came. Unicorn. This one came from our local, uh, what we call a reject shop or two dollar shop, cheap shop. Uh, that's from Tamworth Lab. Was it from Tamworth? Was it? Or Nabrite. Yeah. Nabrite. Nabrite. It's from Nabrite. Yeah, that one's from Nabrite. Very pretty. Next. I'll uh, just put them here. Next one. So a, a diamond dots pattern, a Mandela. Mandela? Yep, I think we got this one from Tamworth. This one's yep. got some big, big drills in it. Yeah, that's from Tamworth. Yep. I did, this is a really pretty one, I did. Yeah, very pretty one. So we had to go to Tamworth for some uh, medical and tests a few months ago, for, so we got that. Uh, and the So my sister is about to have a baby, so we've done this one, she's done this one for my sister, and the new baby. This is a bee. With a bee, yeah, we need the poo. Okay, next one. And the butterfly. So another diamond dots. Another diamond dots. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, diamond dots, uh, butterfly. So these ones she does in about three or four days when she gets I into did, it. I did. That is my my butterfly when Dad's sleeping. I tell him. Oh, it, he, she finished it when Dad was sleeping, and she told him. Dad works as a train driver, so he does shift work. Um, okay, that's that one. This one is um, this one we got from mm -hmm. uh, another cheap shop in Singleton. So I, I I've said in the past, um, I, although I really like diamond dots um, for their quality, they are expensive, and the amount that Ooh. amount of um, diamond painting she does, it can, can sometimes be really expensive. Um, so this actually came from another cheap shop. It's a different brand to the other one. This one in the past we've done this is 5D diamond painting. I've had ones in the past that aren't that crash hot because they're trying to replicate a photo which doesn't work when it's small, but this one is actually quite good. You want to hold it a bit closer. And it, no, you're not dreaming. The whole background, whole of the background oh, has been done in white. It's all white. All white. Oh, it's um, 11. Yeah, there's 11 colors. Yeah, 12. A... Oh, 11 was the white. Yeah. So 12 colors in this one. This one actually quite looks quite pretty. This is quite pretty. It is, Mom. yeah. Oh, Mom. Oh, sorry, wrong. I'm putting it on the wrong pile. Yeah. Winky face. The winky face are done. Another diamond dots. You see a white eye and a wink and that, that one. Yep. Yeah, we have to um, work out how we're going to frame all these. I've been um, looking into doing our own framing, um, but we haven't quite got there yet. Yep. Next one. Oh, big yawn. And I've done this one. Another one. This one is another one from. Um. Don't remember where. Another Jenny's. Another cheap shop. You did it when you were at Only Jenny's, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we've shown probably when shown this one before. You went at um. We were bus box. When I went when we went to Robots. Okay, so we've already shown this one before. Anyway, another one. Okay. She did a couple. We had a couple more of these, and when we were in um, Wollongong, uh, she was doing them while we were down there. Um. At, for the performances, the, another diamond dots, snowman. This is I done the snowman. Yep. Okay. This one isn't quite finished yet. It's not finished yet. Uh, Mum lost a couple of the colours, so we've got to find them. So this one is a flamingo. Flamingo. This one came from uh, Gemit 3D. Gemit 3D Gemart. Uh, it's an Australian, Western Australian company. This one was on special. Um, it was cheap. It's really pretty though, isn't it? Yeah, I did. Yeah. We just have to. Um, I've just. I've misplaced one of the. Somehow I've lost one of the colours. So I'm going to. She'll have to just finish it, what we've got, and then I'll um, order some more. But that's quite pretty. Um, I've ordered a little bit from Gemart. Uh, Gem 3D Art. Or Gem IT. And they're actually a really good company to deal with. Um, Unfortunately, it does take a week for postage to get from Western Australia to here. But, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. It's actually it's a dead fly on the table that's worrying her. Then, while we were in Wollongong, we, um, she, I needed a couple of little projects for her to do, and one of the craft shops had some cheap. So we just got some stickers and some Mean magnets. Sharks. Sharks. So these are diamond dots again. Yep, it's a shark. She's given one way to her. Unfortunately, she um, <laughs> she's in a what we call an MC class, modern category class at school, and her teacher unfortunately left, and so she actually had a big smiley face one that she gave him. 
before she le he left, didn't you? Yeah. So then just a four leaf clover. Four leaf clover. Jacobo. Okay, this one's a sticker. The four leaf clover is a magnet. And then just a. The only problem with these ones, these, I'm not sure whether these are old stock, but the sticky goes right to, nearly right to the edge of the magnet, and I'm finding it really hard. It's, um, we're in a pretty severe drought. Uh, it's very, very dusty. Um, so I'm finding a lot of them end up with a lot of dust around the outside. So if anyone's got any ways of preventing that, that would be great. Okay, we're going to show that one again now, Dylan. Just put that over there. Okay, so this is her big one, hey? Yeah. This is the biggest one. The dragon was her biggest one, but now this is. And um, I've also pro I've posted a, a, a separate post, a separate video about these. Okay, so this is the owl, and I'll put up a picture of what it looks like. Because um, we only have a really, really tiny one. It's very detailed. It's very pretty as you go. It's it's Ooh. really pretty, isn't it? Um, we've managed to convince her this time to only do a section at a time, which has been good. We're not losing any stickiness. Um, I needed to tape more around the edges because otherwise we've got this dirty mark here. That's something for next time to remember that I really need to tape the margin of you adhesives. Need, you said, you want like this? Yeah. Part. Yeah. So this is starting to be the owl now, isn't it? Yes. You've just started on the owl. Yeah. Yeah. So now, now that we've seen a bit, it looks. I can see that there's a flower there. Yeah, I can see the flower now. Yep. Yep. So cool. that's that's her owl, and she's yeah. been working on that a bit. It's um. Probably should have started at the top because now as she goes this dotted edges have to go and have to go over the edge of the table But we'll deal with that when we get to it won't we? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Is that all? Oh, no, here you go. Two more little ones and Two more diamond dots and, and a dog and a dog. Yeah So yeah We're gonna have to get some more little projects Um, because um, one of the things with school spectacular is that she's in a dressing room with about 900 other kids um, so we need some little projects to keep her occupied. All right. Okay, so I've had a few finishes, which has been really good. I've actually had about four finishes since we last did a video. Um, and the first one I got finished, you're gonna show this one? Yeah. First one I got finished was the Noel I was doing. Is that around the right way? Yep. You hold it, you have both yeah. sides. Both sides, like that. There, now put it closer to the camera. So this is Noel. It is a uh, Gazette 94 um, pattern, which you can, if you Google it, you'll find it as a blog of free, a lot of free patterns, quite nice patterns. Um, this one, it's supposed to be a square, but I've used a bit of mystery. I think it's 40 count. You can put it down now. 40 count linen that um, it looks like it's got slubs and stuff, so it's an uneven weave. Still like it. I was going to actually turn it 90 degrees and sew it on this sew it again here in a different colour and just see how it went but we'll see um, I'm I'm glad I tried 40 count but it's not my favourite it's too uh, small um, and I yeah I can see it but I've made lots of mistakes the next one I finished was Flanders Fields I went looking for it I can't mm -hmm. find it it's a, a bookmark it's somewhere there I'll post a picture uh, but it was just a bookmark um, with a poppy and Flanders Fields on the um, written on the bottom uh, for Remembrance Day. The next one I finished was, here you go, another one to show. Both hands. Is a the latest Prairie School Santa. Put it closer. So, yep, this was my first Prairie Schooler. Pretty easy. I did make one. Put that out, that's a good idea. I did make one little error. I didn't look at the pattern properly and I stitched the border in the wrong colour, but I was halfway around by the time I realized it and decided I didn't really care so it looks fine as it is it's quite pretty I've got the patterns for 2018 2017 and maybe 2016 I can't remember um my next one was that which was only finished last or two weekends ago is called the blue mountains yeah. yep blue mountains is where Elizabeth goes to camp in January hopefully yeah both hands Okay, this is uh, called the Blue Mountains. This is actually this this rock formation here is actually called the Three Sisters. Why are you finished it? I finished it um, two weekends ago. Um, the I, uh, so yeah, I do have some rust marks that was in the fabric when I started. I decided it was on the outside so of where I would be um, framing it. The picture actually has it framed right around the edge. The picture also only has it going to something like that. So so you can see there's a bit missing on the side. 
But I'd realized that when I started it, um, I wouldn't have sewn part of that, but I'm just not sure what I'm gonna do. I think I'll just, um, might leave it as it is. Options are, leave it as it is, uh, frame it over the top. So frame, put the frame over there. Or the other option is, is to stitch out here. So I still haven't decided about that, but I like that. That was a uh, Semco kit. So Semco is an Australian, I think Australian company that's been and gone for a few years now. Okay, you ready? We're gonna show this one. The lightest one I finished yesterday. So I have three great nephews now, two of whom are brothers. Um... So I decided to make this for Christmas for them. And it's called Even Superheroes Have to Go to Bed. There you go. So that's that one. And Ma finished it. I finished it yesterday. I finished the even yesterday. So there's no major that are uh, the pattern is from Etsy by Nikki Pattern, and I'll put the link below. Um, the only the two things that I did differently were I didn't realise, but I stitched, I stitched all <laughs> the white in blank. It's supposed to be a different white, but it didn't really matter. Also, their mouths. I didn't have... Like, somehow I missed the colour that was for their mouths. Okay. Um, and so I just used one of the colours from the Prairie Schooler colours I had. So that was my finishes. My work's in progress. Whoa, there's a fly. We've got a lot of flies at the moment. It's driving everybody up the wall. Um, I've got a lot of works in progress. I've still been doing the acrostics from 24 hours of cross-stitch. Um, just fitting in what I've already got, uh, which is, I enjoy, at least I'm doing a challenge, I don't count stitches, uh, I use time time challenges, so, and it's meant I've looked at pretty much all my whips. Okay, so, um, this is in no order of anything, I'm just, as I pick them up, so this one is the Pioneer, I'll post a quick photo here, I don't have the sheet, it's a, it'll be around there. I'll see how I go putting that in. <laughs> I'll try and put it there. Okay, good job. Okay, this is the Pioneer. You're going to hold it out for me? You need to hold that side. This is called the Pioneer. It is a, the Pioneer is a famous three panel painting, um, Australian painting. Basically shows three different uh, times, uh, the same view, three different periods of time. Um, so basically I've done this down here. It takes me a lot longer to do this. At the moment, I'm getting to the forest floor, a lot of confetti. Uh, I kind of sort of only work on it a little bit at a time just because it drives me a little bit nuts sometimes and so many different shades of green. But I'm getting down to a point where there's going to be a man sitting on a bean, on a, a log, so it should get easier in a minute. Okay, good job. So that's the Pioneer. Pioneer. Okay, what show am I showing next? This one? This one? The next one is a sow uh, put yep. out by Sapphire Mountain <coughs> Um and it is the Pride and Prejudice sow. I'm I'm a bit of a fan of Pride and Prejudice. I had to oh, read it um, first time I read it was for my HSC exams, my Year Twelve exams in thirty oh. years ago. So it's kind of appropriate right. that I'm yeah thirty years ago. It's kind of appropriate right. I'm stitching. Years ago. Yeah, long time ago. Kind of appropriate I'm stitching a cross stitch up regarding that now. So this is the, I'll show the picture first. This is where we're up to. There's only two months worth there. There's going to be another month of this bit here. And this is my progress. So that's been done on a 22 count um, hard angle fabric. fabric. Question. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the all green inside and the nice side? Oh, here, why haven't I done this side? Yeah. Just because I haven't got to it yet. I'm doing that now. So I'm doing this bit now. Alright. So that's I where I'm to. And then there'll be, I'd say the border will go all the way down and across and then up. And then I'd say it'll say Pride and Prejudice and then maybe the years in there. Pride and Prejudice. Pride and Prejudice. We're also fans of the movie. The movie, yeah. We're also fans of the BBC. 19, what was it? 2000 and whatever um, version. Um, and that's, that goes in my. Uh, project bag. That was actually my first project bag. I've never ever actually used a project bag before. Okay, uh, another one I've worked on in the last couple of months is um, Royal Tiger, except I didn't bring it over. Uh, it's really hard to see. It's mostly blue on blue down the bottom, um, so we won't worry about that one. But yeah, I have worked on that one. 
Bob, uh, Russian Bobushka. Here you go. Let me show this. Oh, sorry, that's a blank piece of paper. Yeah. Okay, so this one. This is a Babushka doll. Uh, I got it for my 40th birthday and I started it on my birthday what? this year. What, me? When? Yeah. Well, my 40th, so eight years ago. Uh, that means I'm 48. Oh. Okay. So this is a babushka. Okay, put it down. It's easy stitch. In and out, finish. When no, I'm, no, I'm not finished this one. No, I haven't done the head yet. And that's where I'm up to. I'm showing where I'm up to. So you hold both sides and hold it closer to the camera. That's where I'm up to. Okay. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Sometimes get a little bit sick of doing the same colour. I don't have to put a picture in because we just showed it. Okay, um, <laughs> look, I can do that. That's okay. Okay. So that's Babushka. Um, oh, my project bags that I used, that I had used before I actually received a fabric one are actually just uh, big um, pouches from Target. The next one is uh, Wreath of Wildflowers. It's my, one of my favourite projects at the moment here. Hold this one up. Wreath of Wildflowers. So Australian wildflowers, the state, uh, they are the all the state flowers plus the flower of Australia. So the national flower of Australia is the wattle. And my state is New South Wales and that's our state flower. Okay, uh, a fair bit of progress since the last time. You ready? Ready? So we've done, yeah, I'm up to up here, just here. So that's again on our 22 count Hardanger using the colours, called four colours. Um, Babushka was, is on 14 count Ada using the colours from the kit, it's a DMC kit. So that's pretty, I really like that one. I've actually found another couple of reef wildflower ones that I'd like to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you like that one? Yeah. It's pretty, isn't it? We don't have a wattle. We get some wattle around here. Um, Why are you done? Soon. Get okay. some wattle around here. Uh, we've tried to grow. These are kangaroo paws. We've tried to grow kangaroo paws. That kangaroos. And they didn't. Um, they survived for it's a certain amount of time. Not growing too much. Yeah, it's in Australia. I saw some kangaroos late at night one night in town. So Why? because, as you can imagine, because of the Mom, drought. When? Oh, a few weeks ago. Uh, because of the drought, oh, we're getting a lot of wildlife, I'm trying to get to the green grass in town. Uh, the girls saw an echidna across the road a couple of weeks ago, which we've actually never seen one just near oh, us. Oh, what's it called again? An echidna. Echidna? Yeah. Like a, like a sponge? Yeah. You saw him across the road when we were out last week. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. Um, and kangaroos. Yeah, so it was... Disturbed four kangaroos um, on the edge of town as I was driving home one night, and um, yeah, <laughs> it was kind of that classic Australian scene where you see the kangaroo hopping down the middle of the road. Hoppy, hoppy, hop. Yep. And oh, <laughs> another one of my whips. Oops, I shouldn't talk when I'm off camera. Another one of my whips has been. Have I got the picture? This one. This was from the um, Sassy Devils pouch from last time, the winter one. This is uh, a um, Winter Fox, Fox by Pennington Terrace. Um, I managed to leave the actual project in mm. Wollongong when I was down there. So it's, I'll have to get it. We're actually going down towards there next week. So I'll probably try and get it next week. Um, but yeah, I got most of the fox done and oh, well, yes, that's some the of the background. Winter Fox. Hey, I left it at only Wendy's. I left the bag with it in it with at Annie Wendy's. She was a bit silly. Maybe I okay. I will get it. We'll have to ask Annie Wendy to get it for us to make sure we've got it. And I'm just going to check my books to see if there's anything I've missed. I don't think so. I think I've got everything. I keep a, a book, which is <coughs> kind of a bullet journal that is for actually pen pals and for cross stitching, um, where I keep all my stuff in it. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to have to get some more projects. I've got a little snow globe that I need to finish off. Um, I've got two, at least two first Christmas ornaments to make this year, which I'll start soon. They don't take very long. So I've got some projects, uh, some of my cut projects coming up. My, the last, one of the other things we've got to do, remember we got, uh, so the Sassy Devil's Pouch, um, it's a bit of a late review, but anyway, 
Um, we received it oh, a couple of weeks ago now. It was in the holidays. And yeah, another amazing um, group of uh, great things to do with cross stitching. Okay, so I'll show you what's in it. It comes in this amazing purple pouch. Um, and here you go, you gonna show this? So I've got a, um, this time was spring. So, um, it's a bee. It's bees, it's a project bag. Very nice. I haven't started, I haven't found a project to go in there yet. Maybe the Christmas ones. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I've got it. Oh, you, we'll get your project bag because we've got to show that. Where's your project bag? That's fine. Yep. So there was a zip, I think they called it a zipple. It's like a zip. <laughs> they don't call them zipper pulls. You're not supposed to use them to pull zippers. Don't take it off, just show. Just hold it up. It's just a, it's a decoration more than anything. And so somebody <laughs> found it. Just let it, let it hang. Uh, I love this one. Yeah. Somebody saw me un unwrap it all, and guess what? I lost it. So it's now on her project bag. I'll have to wait for another one, won't I? Find myself another one. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay, so Mom, what did I'm we so get sorry. this time? So it was all nicely wrapped up as before I didn't. Mom? Yes, I know. Sorry. I um, haven't. Um, I haven't. I didn't. Mm. Keep it together. <laughs> so, one of the things that we got was some really. Show the box. Show the it box. It's empty. Show it up closer. It's empty. Oh, now. A, a really nice um, fudge. It was white chocolate and. Yeah, ooh, I, like, I like it. It was white chocolate and raspberry, I think. So raspberry and cream. Raspberry ooh. and cream. By a company called Piece of Tassie. So, it comes from Tasmania. Um, it uh, takes about a week to get here. Tasmania? In. Yeah. But when it arrived, I know you're not supposed to eat anything or do anything with anything until you show it on I costume. I love it. But guess what? Who was who was here when it came? You and me and Dad and um, Sarah Jane. And so everybody had to have a tight try. That's okay. I don't mind sharing. It was nice, wasn't it? Do you remember? Probably not. It was yeah, really yummy. Yes. Um. So then we'll, we'll hide it. You shall hide it. Yeah. So that was our um, treat. That was some lovely fudge. You want to show I this? I enjoyed it. You enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. This is some um, silks for you um, silk, and it's uh, Sassy Devil's Spring. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for. I don't use a lot of pink, but I'll find something. I'll work something out. Hey, I'll find a nice project for that. I haven't. I've got mm -hmm. the one from last time, and these are my only silks. What else have we got? Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I'll show this. Yeah. What, what is this stuff? Foot soak. Hold so, it up. I got on my... For your feet? Yeah, you yeah, can. From, for me. Well, you can use some of them. I'm yours. Oh, they're for me, but you can have some. You need to soak your feet. Show it. You're not showing probably. So some peppermint foot soak and then a, a piece of paper telling you all about it. it smells quite nice. Yep. Good. Um, some Tazzy facts. So it's some that facts, mean? I mean some some things about Tasmania, actually about oh, the Tassie Devil in particular. Oh, uh, don't, what is it, the... No, Tassie, the Tasmanian Devil is an endangered species. Now this is, is one thing like I didn't know. know. The one thing I didn't know is that they can swim, they can climb trees, and they can run at 24 hours, and 24 kilometers an hour for an hour straight. And they only live in Tasmania. So that's some facts about oh, Tasmania. Oh, yeah. You can have a look at it. And then we've got a needle minder. You want to show this? Which is a uh, very pretty. Show that a bit. Yep. So, with a uh, spring theme. Oh, too close. Uh, sorry. Got there. Yep. Uh, pretty card. Show the card. Which is the front of the card. Yeah. What's just says, Dear Joe, kind regards, sassy devils. Ah, uh, so the name. Just, it's okay. Put the, put the card up. Yeah, pretty card. What next? It's a butterfly. It's a butterfly. Okay, so some more things out of the sassy devils pouch. We've got a. You have to hold it closer. It's a little ladybug. And when you do this, it's a light. It? It's a light and a needle threader. There's also a little um, cutout for a 
thread cutter. Quite handy. You show these. Some buttons. Some uh, butterfly buttons. Looking. Yep. Um, okay, thank you. A pattern from Pennington Terrace again. I'm going to show this. So this one's a springtime pattern and it's a cute bunny. You like that one? Cute. Do you like this one? Yeah. Yeah, it's a cute pattern. And then they give you two uh, of the DMCs that are in that pattern. So in this case, I've got 444 and 335. And then I, there's an option for buying fabric and I don't have any hand dyed, very little hand dyed fabric. So I get that option. You're going to hold uh -huh. this up because we both need to hold this one up because it's like so there's, um, multicolored. Um, where's the manga coming? Lots and lots of colors. So I, again, have no idea what I'm going to do with this. Um, I, as I said, I don't have any dyes. Is it like a tie dyed dyed shirt? It's like a tie dyed shirt. Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm not really sure whether I, I had thought that I might, uh, I've got a niece that loves yellow and I'm going to do a, uh, a, a, a who's that? Stella, Stella still likes yellow, doesn't she? Yeah. Uh, I, can, I was going to do an initial, can I, can I, can I, who? Emma Wiggle. Emma Wiggle, yes, Emma Wiggle is yellow. So I still don't know, but we'll put that aside for another day <coughs> and we'll work that out then. Oh, the other <coughs> thing were these, Ooh, right? Um, I think they call them peels. They go around the edge of your Q-snap. So uh, when you've got too much fabric on your Q-snap, got your Q-snap, too much fabric, um, and you put that around like that. I um I do use Q-snaps occasionally. Um, I do mostly do stitching in hand. Uh, but I do use Q-snaps. I used a Q-snap on um, even superheroes and I've done it when I do the tiger, I do that. Um, I find um, 22 Hardanger easy to stitch in hand, but then I find some linens not so easy to stitch in hand. So depends on the fabric really. I go from one to the other, um, depending on how big the project is. Mm. Okay, um, I think that's it. Pretty sure that's it. No more else to say. We're going to Sydney next weekend, you and I, yep. for a rehearsal. Mm -hmm. um, we're watching tomorrow, watching a live stream from Sydney um, on one of the parts that she has to dance, the finale. I mean, uh, so the school, spe school Spectacular is a concert, public schools concert uh, in Sydney at one of the big arenas, um, inside, inside arenas called Kudos, Kudos um, and there's five and a half thousand kids involved. Tomorrow is Monday. Yes, tomorrow is Monday. Five and a half thousand is, kids, but um, her group there's 880. She's in what's called the D Arts Ensemble, which is the disability no, dance from group. The famous D Arts Ensemble. The famous D Arts Ensemble. Oh, it's famous now, is it? Yes, I heard. Oh, you heard that it's famous. Oh, we'll have to tell Jim then, hey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll go down there and then in two weeks time we go back down for the, the, the performance week, don't we? Lots of yeah. fun and performances and Dad's coming, he's going to come and see it this time. Dad and Michael and Sarah Jane are going to come and see it. And I think that's all. So we might, so again, thank you so much uh, for watching. Um, hopefully um, you've lasted this long. Uh, thank you so much for all your comments. Uh, Elizabeth Nails. Some people like to look at Elizabeth Nails. Nothing exciting today. She's just got clear on. Um, uh, like, top coat. Top coat. There you go. She knows the terms. Top coat on. Um, to her nails have got quite long, so they did a trim and just put a top coat on. Uh, she's going to do an experiment next week for her um, um, graduation you formal. Can my um, dragon? Oh, did we forget the dragon? Yeah. Have you done on any on it lately? Uh, no, I no, we haven't done any. We'll just leave the dragon for next time. Uh, She's also doing Mythical Dragon or Mystical Dragon from Diamond Dots. It's another big one, but she hasn't done much on it, so we'll leave that one for now. <laughs> we have to look into part of it has lost its adhesive, so we need to check what we need to do I about need that one. Um, that glue. Yeah, we need to get um, some glue, we think. Um, 
And that's about it. Uh, oh yeah, I was just say um, some someone was mentioning the other day that uh, not everybody is getting all notifications when new videos go up. Um, if you go and have a look in the where the bell is, I think you can change your. It doesn't always um, give you all of the videos, only gives you some to stop your feed getting too cramped. So if you're not getting notifications and you want them, have a look there. I'll put all the links below, all the details. Uh, I was trying to get my blog started again, but that hasn't happened. So. All the details down below if you want to ask any questions go ahead and that's it for now so will we say goodbye yeah okay bye we'll see you next time i'll see you next time bye bye bye